I really loved like performing and putting on costume and like being a bit of a chameleon, I think, to to survive. And, and it also, it brought me joy because performing brought other people joy. Like I was able to, uh-huh. I had pride in kind of being a class clown and, and a performer that's interesting it sounds like you've uh you've always had a knack for performing and it sounds like you kind of i uh, grew up around it Did, is this something that you've known that you wanted to do your whole life i must have known like very physiologically but i think conceptually i don't intellectually like i had to that wasn't a path really yeah. It wasn't quite the accepted path and especially kind of growing up in like a South Asian household. It's, you know, it's not security. It's not success. It's not like engineer, doctor, lawyer. Because you're, you're yeah. talking about something so specific and you want to treat it right and, and talk about these things in, in a way that's interesting and cinematic and, and thematic. That's these things in your movie. Do you think the ideas will resonate with a large Indian audience slash Indian American audience? That's the big question. <laughs> I think so. I, I mean, Amazon's really proud of it. Um, Blumhouse is proud of it. And, and Priyanka Chopra Jonas is proud of it. Like there are a lot of people on the, on the inside of the industry that I feel are like elevating this in a way that's like, oh, okay. And the response from like international press has been positive. Just that it is, it's reaching cross-culturally and it's both really specific and also totally universal and that it's like featuring a South Asian cast which is like an all South Asian cast which is, which is awesome so going into it I was really trying to hold on to the small and hold on to the specifics and then the response has been like it's bigger than that and it's been positive so that's great. Did you guys actually shoot in New Orleans? We did. You did. Had you been there or spent time there before? I had been there once before for a film festival. How'd you like it? How'd you like the city? It's for like a haunting movie, right? <laughs> it's like the house itself and like the neighborhoods and these like big old trees and these big porches. Like it really created this sort of mystical and superstitious feeling to, to set. Like dealing with superstition as our movie does. So I was like very thrilled to take on like whatever fun ghosts that was going to bring. And it's a, like all the voodoo culture and everything that you're surrounded by and all the, yeah. and like the above ground cemeteries are very intense over there. Are you, yeah. uh, are you a pretty superstitious person yourself? I don't even realize I am. Like my, my husband actually brings it up a lot. And I'm like, oh, I didn't, I've just always done it that way because if you do it this way, then that's really bad. Why? I don't know. It's just bad. <laughs> like I, I think I have like some of that ingrained in me. It's my kind of way into like the horror genre. It is like I think it's brilliant that our movie sort of puts the two on top of each other because it's like that feeling of not knowing the unknown, but like you respect it, but you're afraid of it, but also like you want to peek around the corner and see if anyone is really going to kill you. (laughs) Like it's this play of like, I don't know, you like to be scared. I like to test fate a little bit by doing a ritual or not, you know? (laughs) 